Before we get started with the technical part of today's class, I brought in one of my textbooks, okay? And I'm not gonna give you a lesson in physics today. You can see this is a physics textbook. Uh, the lesson isn't inside the book, it's more within what the book is. What do I mean by that? Well, isn't this an organized systematic approach to learning physics? Isn't that what Shaolin Kempo, American Kempo, White Crane Kung Fu, just to name a few, isn't that what those are with regards to martial arts? So I think there's a lot that we can learn by making that comparison. What do I mean? Well, if you're studying physics, you're studying a particular topic in this book, maybe you don't understand something, maybe you just want to go a little bit further in, in depth within that particular topic to understand it a little bit better, you wouldn't hesitate to turn to another text, would you? And within your martial arts training, you should be willing to do the same, okay? Uh, you shouldn't find yourself sort of tethered to one particular textbook. Now, some of the best teachers I've had, it's probably been the case with many of you, have been teachers that have had a particular textbook that they assigned for the class, but along the way, if they want to elaborate a little bit more on a particular topic, they don't hesitate to take sample problems out of other texts or even create their own problems uh, when need be and, and when it will add to the lesson. That's how well they understand the material that they're teaching. Uh, so what's, what's the lesson? What am I trying to say? Is it that you shouldn't value the textbook? Well, I, I can tell you that's not the case, especially with regard to this particular book. I went to the bookstore when I, it was 10 years ago, I was in college. I had a class that required this book I went to the bookstore and, and found the book and all they had were paperback editions. So I went home and I, I looked up online to see if I could get a hardcover edition. You can see this is a hardcover copy. I've had it, I've kept it in good condition for 10 years. I continue to reference it to this day. There's a lot of value I place in the text. There's a lot to appreciate too that, that goes into making a good textbook. Same thing with our martial arts systems. So the system is a good source of, of reference material. It, there's, there's a lot, that you, as you guys know, there's a lot you can get out of any given technique. And we can go back to problems in this book, review them, and I'd probably see something I didn't see the first time I did the problem. That's the same thing in class when we go back to some of your basic techniques. We go over them again. We take additional lessons out of them. We might rework the technique a little bit. So there's a lot of value to place in the textbook. There's a lot of value to place in the system. But my advice, learn from the text, be a student of what the textbook is teaching. This is a tool that helps you to learn physics. The system is a tool that helps you to learn martial arts. Don't be a student of the textbook, be a student of the subject. Don't be a student of the system, study from the system, learn from the system, but be a student of martial arts.